Got a bit of a project of the day going on here right in front of me. And this is a new row of Sunken Pot Nursery that will again be lined with daffodil bulbs that will touch up against the sides of the pots and therefore be harvestable just by lifting the pot and grabbing the dividing bulbs off the side. So here's a starter. Uh, again, mostly I'm limited by the number of pots I have. If people have pots they want to share with me, please, please. Um, so I have that, and then I have this. Um, this was one that was flopping into the walkway. And I've marked all the super scented daffodil bulbs that uh, that I wanted to lift this at the end of this year, and this is the first one to get yanked up because I think this whole front, and I'm probably going to redesign this, I think this whole front would be great in order to just have a bunch of bulbs and all of this nursery stock planted in. <clears throat> I have some soil, so the design is to place the pots probably a bit higher than that, because you don't want them lower than the wood chips. So it's first place the pots, then it's tuck soil around the pots and put the bulbs into that. So I'm going to have to kind of bang this around until the bulbs themselves are exposed in here so that I can get them bit by bit. And here's one at least. They're pretty small, so I'm going to put a bunch in, especially since they divide so well. What I haven't decided is whether I ha I'm going to be able to do a double row here or not. But I do think I'm going to do the super scented ones the whole way across, because that's something that I would like to have included in that, um, that mix all the time. I started to expand the end of my water collection trench down here too because I'd actually like to have kind of like a deep um, post hole dug at the end to hold just a little bit more of a water battery here. Uh, it used to be that all of the water from the rains, which we get our heaviest torrential rains in August, um, around there, late July to August. It used to be it would just drain off down the sidewalk and down the street. Now I'm collecting a lot of it, and the elderberries are so appreciative of the increased water content of the soil here. So the soil quality through here has been increasing a lot, and I'm adding a grape over there. I think it'll just be really nice to have the ability to um, just hold a little bit more water in the landscape all the time. So that's the goal here. I have a few more pots over here, but a lot of them are kind of on the bigger side. I'm aiming to have not too many really big pots through here, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, the one-gallon size are definitely the most popular s sellers. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's see how I do today. Alright. Just a little preview. Take care. Bye.